Canada is one of the firm supporters of democratic processes taking place in emerging economies, enhancing bilateral cooperation in the framework of expanded partnership is high on the nation's scale of preference. Canada's Speaker of the House of Commons, Honorable Andrew Scheer, and some members of Parliament are at the Nigerian House to see the Nigerian High Commissioner Ujo Madwekwe and to commend the political reforms in Nigeria as the nation consolidates its democratic process. Canada, of course, plays a very major role in many different areas and we need to have these types of interactions to remind us that even though there might be a highway interchange that's important or a light rail, rail project or uh, uh, other types of issues that we do need to be engaged in world affairs. Nigeria's High Commissioner to Canada, Ujo Marukwe, praised the Speaker and members of Parliament, stressing that the political class in Nigeria has always focused on evolving a credible electoral process. He recalled his statement during Nigeria's 44th independence anniversary, emphasizing that the litmus test for authentic democracy will be the ability of the ruling party to theoretically preside over its own defeat. This needs not become a death wish. It is merely an acceptance that to have helped in nurturing lasting democracy is a far bigger achievement than forming government. Yet, no matter the difficulties we have had to face, the truth of the matter is that we have firmly and irreversibly established democracy, and that democracy is its own real dividend. Unquote. I'm privileged that in this beautiful, very democratic country of Canada, I was able to bear witness that this came to be in 2015, and I was home in Nigeria to witness all that process. In Ontario, Canada, Joy Usiago, NTA News.